kiddies, guess what? We've got a special news and nonsense report. And I've got Total OS today uh, with me. And uh, we've got some pretty interesting stuff that's come up in the news. And so we figured we'd do a special report on this. And, uh, you know, let you guys know what's been happening in your Linux world. How are you doing, Total OS today? I'm doing terrific, sir. How are you there in South America, Florida? Uh, I am wired on this stuff. Word of warning. Do not drink something with caution on the label. Well, duh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's an energy drink. It's only 99 cents from Arizona. And, uh, yeah, you, yeah, I, I've had about three of them. I like how well, they taste, though. here's the thing. I do not want to drink anything that actually has the name of the drink as caution, if you know what I mean. But yeah, we just got it on the label, you know. I think it's kind of cool, you know. It looks like, you know, it's something that you'd see on a construction site. Like goes right out. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, okay. hang on. Before you start the news, I'm going to turn down the volume on my headset just in case. Okay, I feel much better All now. All right, well. Yes. Go ahead, Spatcher. You threw me a hint on a late-breaking news story with NVIDIA, so go for it. Well, we'll leave that for a moment. First, I want to okay. talk about Apple and yes. Corolla. Now, yes. Apple ha uh, judge, a judge dismisses the entire Apple versus Motorola case to restore patent sanity. Wow. Now, judge Richard Posner has dismissed the entire case of Apple versus Motorola in a ruling on Saturday. And this is a bold and welcome move to bring an end to the patent insanity spreading in the mobile industry. Now, mm. Apple has sued almost every Android player across the globe. Now, the judge <laughs> went on to say it would be ridiculous to dismiss a suit for failure to prove damages and allow the plaintiff, Apple, to, refuse, to refile the suit so that he could have a second chance to prove damages. This case is therefore dismissed with prejudice. Wow. With, with prejudice? That means like there's, there's like an extra zinger there. Like I dismissed this and horse stable to you. That's what he's saying. Exactly. So. And underneath this article is a long, very lengthy uh, thing that the judge wrote down. I started reading it until you rang in. And I said, you know what? We got to have a special report. Okay. And then go you for it. To talk yeah. about NVIDIA. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, let me go ahead and uh, move over to uh, that little okay. piece of article here. Okay. NVIDIA loses a large GPU order due to closed source drivers. Uh-oh. Now, this has been an exciting week for NVIDIA. Let me tell you, earlier, Linus Trevals himself fingered them for not opening sourcing their drivers and uh -huh. making it hard for the Linux community to work with them. Now, NVIDIA's arrogance has cost them a huge Chinese order. They seem to have lost the entire Chinese market to competitor AMD, which hmm. does have open source drivers for their GPU. Hmm. Now, interestingly enough, this sparked some attention. From, well, duh, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it seems it, it seems that recent comments made by Linus Trevals and the <laughs> loss of a deal with China have made the people at NVIDIA take Are we talking about the love finger that Linus gave last? Uh, yeah, the, Lin yeah. Yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the, the rose finger. You got it. <laughs> all right, go ahead, sorry. It, yeah, when he gave him the rose, exactly. <laughs> yeah, right, okay, go ahead, yeah. So... Uh, NVIDIA is now going to take Linux more seriously and amend their attitude towards it, supposedly. And recently, an NVIDIA employee asked in the uh, kernel, kernel Summit mailing list what could be done differently to make the Linux support better. Let me pull up that Kernel Summit letter, and I'll read to you okay. uh, what he had said. Uh, Stephen Warren stated, I would love to attend the Kernel Summit this year. Firstly, I imagine that I should show up in person to accept the award that Linus gave us a <laughs> sure no problem go ahead <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah and, okay. and uh yeah and uh hopefully uh linus's uh digital millennium prize is about 50 pounds so you can <laughs> Yeah, right, okay. I've got like a big boulder and just boom. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, okay. And he goes on to say, things I would be interested in talking about are, within the constraints I have, what should I and perhaps other NVIDIA employees be contributing to the kernel? Duh! How about all the cold, idiot? 
And well, it's- actually, there, there's a there's a little moral to the story here. Like, and then I'll let you continue. Here's here's a simple moral <laughs> to the story of this, and this has, and you can apply this to all life. The moral, the lesson here is everybody plays nice, so everybody benefits. What a concept, right? Exactly, exactly. And, well, people are starting to learn. You better play nice with Linux because, hey, you know, (laughs) with 900,000 activations a day, Linux has not seen just some measure of success. Come on. Right, right. Even even Traval said that himself. All right, so in a Google Plus comment, Linus noted that we have mainly been contributing uh, patches for Tegra SOC infrastructure details. I'm curious what other areas people might expect me or NVIDIA to contribute to. I assume the issue is mainly the lack of open support for the graphics-related parts of our hardware. But perhaps yeah. there's some expectation that we'd also start helping out in some core area of what the, uh, of the kernel. And uh, yeah. would that kind of thing help our image even if we didn't open up our hardware? And then, of course, there are some others. Are there any new novel ideas I could take back to NVIDIA to help persuade any kind of opening up? I'd be happy to feed anything interested up the chain. Unrelated to all that, I'm generally interested in any kind of architecture discussions related to embedded style boards. Example, the best uh, device data API structures for representing complex boards, yada, yada, yada. Do I have to? <laughs> no, but right. I... I uh... I have I have a vision of of the of the Nvidia family saying we don't need Linux we don't need Mr. Torvalds we're gonna do things our way and horse stable to you but then you know Linus Torvalds gives the universal love finger and everybody at Nvidia freaks out like oh my God Godfather Linus Torvalds is mad oh no 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 we we didn't mean it we're, we're you know we 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 will play nice this sounds no, joking. But look, this is really is good. I know we're making fun of this, but this really is good news. So yeah. But you know, it, this just takes us back. Remember, remember the SOPA thing going on that GoDaddy was supporting yeah, that yeah, and everything, yeah, and then yeah, all of yeah, a yeah. sudden, all the customers stepped up and said, "Hey, you support right. SOPA? We're pulling all of our websites off your server." And yes. all of a sudden, when it comes down to the almighty dollar, people are automatically changing the sound. Oh yeah, yeah. Huh? That's oh. the name of the game, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So, all right. Well, um, pretty much uh, that's all I had on this news report. And uh, it's a good thing that you called me. I says, hey, let's just put up a special surprise for these guys. Let them know what's going on. And uh, we still have uh, another uh, Sunday night news and nonsense <laughs> coming up. But uh, there's yeah. a special report, folks. Thank you for listening. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and crack wise jokes at Total OS today. I'm going to shut off the mic now. Ah. Yes, we have to keep this a family show, so I'm going to grab the soap to wash my ears, like after we're done talking. But as far as that goes, thank you for the breaking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. Do, 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 do. But no, but thank you, thank you for the breaking news. That definitely is important. It's it's good news. I know we're here, you know, cracking jokes and making this a nonsense, but that I think is good news in the long run for the open open source community. So thank you, Spatry, and thank you to everybody for listening. Spatry, take us out. Goodbye.